Laura. And we are Rez, Karen, Dave, and Laura. Oh, we're also known as the Four Ponytails of the Apocalypse. Um, <laughs> to get things started, we're going to just start off uh, as an inspiration for our first scene. We're going to be doing a little film for you. Thank you. And we need a film genre, so just yell out some film genres. Sci fi. Come on. I film do what? Sci fi. Sci-fi? Sci-fi and stuff. We're going to start with some sci-fi if we have a location where sci-fi might take place. Oh, sure. Underground bunker. An underground bunker sci-fi. Great. Karen likes that. So Thank you. Good. Thank you. Long as you're going to They taste like dirt, which is how I like them. They should just be honest and say dirt flavor on the packaging. That's right, Hendrix. That's right. I tell you, this, this moon system, it's, a, it's beautiful, man. The things we're seeing here, I mean, I know you're not a geologist like I am, but I, I tell you, the, the discoveries we've made, that's just amazing. Is that right, Hendrix? Got enough for your book? Mm. I got enough for a lot of books, Mac. Maybe I'll read one of your books. Although math is not really my thing. So I gotta say, having soldiers here, there's nothing going on out there. What is your day like? Mostly eating ration bars and watching you guys. Keeping an eye out. And if something does happen, you're gonna be really glad that we're there. Keep the geologists in order. Well, not just a jealous in order, but what if something else is there? Who knows? Hey, Mac. Hey, Hendrix. Oh. I, uh, got a surprise. What's Sticking that? around in the back of the bunker. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> Look. Bethany said she'd come through. Check it out. Wow. Can of 1984 cranberry jelly. That is old. <laughs> Sal, I assume you brought that out because you're insured. Well, yeah, I, I, I mean, of course, Hendrix. It's still good. What's the expiration date on it? Yeah, come on. It's from 1984, and I mean, it's it got... It says it doesn't expire until 2073. We've got four more years. All right. Holy cow. <laughs> well... You guys eat it, then. I'm going to stick to my rations. Here, let me, uh, let me get the Blast 25 can opener. I mean, what's, that, what's that really going to taste like? Sugar and fruit? I like my dirt-flavored rations. Yeah, well, that's what I would expect from a soldier, man. Mac, you're always taking the dirt for us, aren't you? That's right. Always eating the stuff nobody yeah. wants. I'm a sergeant in the Space Marine Corps. That's what we do. That's all yours, man. We'll finish it off. Thank you. Oh, are you opening it now? Oh. Hey, hey Margaret. <laughs> I saw it. I saw that you got that, and I... I was just playing this There's whole enough deal. to go around. But I, oh. oh, you didn't want us to open it yet? I just thought we'd want to savor the moment, you know, and like make a feast, you know, as best a feast we could with what we have. You're right, Captain Margaret. We should have waited, and I opened the can. It's fine. We have it now. May I just have a little sniff? Sure. Freeze. Okay, great, so we've got some sci-fi going on, but I maybe want a little something more. So if I could have a totally different film genre. What's that? Looney Tunes. Uh, what was, I heard something tunes? Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes is a film genre. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Western. Western? And rom-com. Rom uh, I think, let's take Western and rom-com. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a problem that you can raise your hand. That's what I thought. Okay, we're, and we're going to keep sci-fi too. So we're going to do a sci-fi western rom-com. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. And action. You know, Hendrix, I really hate you. Listen. I'm kidding. I know I'm kidding. kidding. How'd that smell, Captain? It smelled like... It smelled like... Youth and <laughs> history and holidays. Yeah, I know. Do you remember holidays? I do. I remember spending holidays down on Earth on a ranch with my whore <laughs> Bessie and, and haystacks galore. Is that a horse or a robot horse? No, robot horse indeed. Horse, Sal. Yeah. 
I wouldn't think there'd be any real horses anymore. I saw a real horse once. Did you, Mac? Yeah. I saw a real sheriff once. Hmm? I saw a real sheriff once. Well, you're the sheriff around here, Captain. Yeah, Captain. You Sheriff Captain Margaret. That's a good nickname. Good nickname. You want to smell the can again? I said we just crack that thing right out. Let's open it up. Sure, I got a Gosh, let me open that can. You can go ahead and take it. I... Well, you do the honors and crack that lid right open. And... Oh, you do make love to that can. I'm going to go out and uh, do another patrol. I don't think Make sure we don't have any wrestlers out there. Any love going on here? Why don't you get back to No, me? there couldn't be. I mean, I got a girl back on Saul. Soul system, I, so there can't be any kind of chemistry here. We're just we're just working by yeah, it. He's just a geologist, and I'm, I'm just an assistant the geologist for Captain. <laughs> telling you, just you leave this room right now. Of course, Captain. <laughs> Hendricks, I just want to remind you about fragmentation. <laughs> I wasn't going to do anything except share the cranberries. I just got to share it. Why don't you share it with me? Of course. I share it, Captain. In my quarters, perhaps? <laughs> oh. I'll be right there. Well, Jerry, <laughs> the first thing we got to do is get these lights fixed. <laughs> then the second thing we got to do, we got to prepare to go and steal all their stuff. Got the crin. Oh, you've changed. Oh, yes, I'm off duty. Um. Did I, did I mention that, you know, I've got this girl Oh, let's not talk about why it's outside the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Should I crack open the cranberry then? Well, I thought it was already cracked. <laughs> um, of course, <laughs> Captain <laughs> Sheriff. <laughs> Are we going to save any for the rest of the crew? Because... And Sally was pretty excited about us finding it. I suppose that would be the proper thing to do. Is that normal wear for a captain? Yeah. 
I think. I think we finally found something to eat on our planet 54. It's been barren for so long. You've had to eat the minerals and the rocks and yes. the sludge that grows in the, in the waters. Yes. Nothing but magnesium and calcium. <laughs> We need to get into that covering of delicious tender morsels. <laughs> I've been watching it up from that hill. You see, come here. You see that hill up there? I've been watching it. <laughs> yes, that one. Oh, yes, I see it. You have to magnify it <laughs> to see it. Good. I, I do. My eyes are old. I am an old being. I know. They come in and out of there. And then they find rocks and other artifacts and things. Planet 54 rocks and artifacts. They brought a metal cylinder at one point. Metal cylinder, you say? Yes, I don't know what's was. Everybody saddled up? We're ready to take off. Posse ready? Sally, you, you buckled in? Sally, you buckled in yet? I should warn you. Yeah, I'm buckled in. My my ship suspension is a little screwed up right now, so it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Here we go. I'm gonna turn, Captain. Alright. My, my, it's sure hot in this, in this ship ride you got here. You see anything up there, Mac? Not yet, Captain. Mac, what do they look like? They look like these strange, twisted, double over beings. They had hideous gray skin that looked like it was covered in scales. They were large, almost eight to nine feet tall. They looked very strong. And they had bits and pieces that would sometimes come out of them and do various yeah, things. It's very descriptive, man. <laughs> Captain, Captain, could that be the ancient race that we thought we wiped out? Oh, Hattie, I tell you what. There might be some, <laughs> there might be ancients over that hill. We're gonna find out. Let's land it. System. I'm going to wear a wide grip hat if that's okay with you guys. <laughs> wise move, Hendricks. That's why the Space Marine Corps always issues wide brim hats. And that's why I like you. you remember to wear yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Captain. <laughs> Probably should have changed before we went on this mission. Ah, uh, there wasn't time. Okay. <laughs> so we're looking for ancients. <laughs> so you say, Mac, that the rover was 10 feet tall? I said eight feet tall. Eight feet tall, okay. It was eight feet tall. Engines can be as large as ten feet tall. Yeah? Yeah. So if they were that big, you'd think we'd have seen them by now. Yeah. Where are they hiding themselves? I don't know. I'm going to do a patrol, Captain. Leaving us here? None of us have well, maybe, proper soldier training. Maybe we should break off in pairs. Captain, you should probably go with, with, with Matt. I mean, he, you, are, you are so experienced. None back here, Captain. Maybe there's no need to split up. Yeah, you're probably right, Captain. Very fast. <laughs> you didn't see anything, Mac? No, I didn't see nothing. Wait. What? Do you see that? <laughs> Blend into the rock so that they cannot see us in our camouflaged way, and then we shall. I thought we already blended to the rock. <gasps> oh, so we are. Sally, what are your readings telling you? Uh, what so am I readings telling you? Um, Arthur, it's counting one, two, three, four, five, six beings in the immediate vicinity. Six beings is too much. We should go back. Yeah. I mean, there's only four of us, so there's clearly two too many. We need a oh, pro pair of balls. Come on. Mac, you're the only one with soldier training here. I'm a geologist, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you're about to become deputized into the Space Marine Corps. Because they're here. And they'll be attacking us any second now. And that's how the deputization system works in the Marine Corps. That's exactly how it works. special. We have to go out and find her, Matt. Well, that's your mistake, making someone special like that. You get your heart broken. I know that somewhere in there, there's still a heart. Yeah. Somewhere in there, there's still somebody who cares. It's a heart made of metal and plastic. A cybernetic heart. I was speaking kind of figuratively, Matt. <laughs> You're gonna go out there, no matter what we say. You're gonna go out there, aren't you? Look, if you're, you're that stupid, aren't you? Yeah, Jesus. Well, there's one thing that I admire. is bravery. Bravery so intense that it borderlines, borderlines on incredibly stupid. You're coming with? Yeah, I'm coming with. I wouldn't miss this at all. Let's go. All right, can you not shoot her a second time? <laughs> Mort? Mort? 
What? Oh, it's not sitting well. Captain. I'm afraid he does not. 
soon as we return to the ship, and we will return to the ship in due course. We will be confined to quarters. For now, let's go get that little lady. <laughs> All right, three of us back together again. Nothing we can't do. students. Yes, magnesium is flammable. Yes! <laughs> yes, and I have a lighter in my pocket. And the other side note that I was getting at was that my sweat will melt the sedimentary rock because it's really soft. But yes, pull out that lighter. There it is. Oh wait, this is a really bad idea. <laughs> Distractor, I'm gonna come around and flank him. All right, that's all I need. All right, I'll head over this mountain range. You head over there. What am I doing? <laughs> You're providing us with leadership and guidance. Good <laughs> 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 <laughs>
well. Sally, it's so good to see you again. I don't care about my girlfriend back on the soul system. Really? Oh, Henry, just what I've been waiting to hear. Our shacks left together. Our ass is back to the ship. Oh, yeah, of course, I guess. Shh! Oh, What's that? No! Oh my god! That's right. You forgot about the last three of us. You killed two then, one in the earlier. Now there's three left. Me and my two brothers here. Who are right next to me right now. You're not gonna oh, like the other ones, you're black. What's your name? My name is Black Bart. Black Bart. That sounds rather ominous. I know. What are you gonna do if I drop this gun? Well, I think we should take these guns, sir. We're gonna take all your weapons. We're gonna eat your You're gonna have to let Sally go. Oh, Hendrix, I don't wanna lose you again. Let this little one go. All right. We killed your Marine. Come <laughs> on,